And businesses are at breaking point as they face up to another week under lockdown. They'll get more financial support tomorrow, but many say it's not enough to keep them afloat. Clearing cutlery. Now a heartbreaking reality. This is just one of my function rooms. It's empty and I don't know when I can fill it again. Like the Brighton Savoy, Abby Siegel's perfumery in the Royal Arcade has been run by her family for generations. We're the ones who are going to hurt. We're the ones who you'll all be really upset when we're gone because it's what makes Melbourne tick. Both businesses now using savings to survive this latest lockdown extension. Show me a first world country that thinks it's acceptable to deprive somebody of their income and their livelihood and in our case, our life's work, our family's legacy. It's pretty easy for a bloke who's never missed a paycheck this entire pandemic to tell small business to just wait longer. While the Premier will outline further financial support tomorrow, it will be too late for some. A number of small businesses have just been keeping their head above water, but sadly this fifth lockdown and the fear of future lockdowns has caused them to drown. You should be able to look at what every business that is registered for GST has taken in a period of time and somehow organise some kind of percentage that is proportionate to be able to keep them afloat. The longer lockdown is again hitting families struggling with online learning. Since the start of the pandemic, hundreds of thousands of Victorian school students have lost up to 24 weeks of face-to-face -face learning, more than any other state. They're fatiguing from just looking at the screens all day. I mean, I am, so I'm sure they are. I know that they are. It gets to three o'clock and they're exhausted. If they miss a lesson or two, if they don't get all of their activities done, it's all right. What's most important right now is they look, we look after their mental health, their wellbeing, and we give them all the love and support that they need. From Wednesday, students with disabilities will be able to return to the classroom. Tick and Dolling, 7 News.